Scorpio, welcome back. This is Kit's Cards, and we are going to do a general reading starting Aries through Pisces to see what your person could be thinking or feeling specifically. Keep in mind that rules can be reversed, and if it's not your story, acknowledge and move on. So, after that, I will do a mini spread for you guys. See if we can narrow it down a little bit. And if it is not your story, come back next week and check the energies again. Okay, so our spirit's guides for Scorpio. Dealing with an Aries. What's that person thinking or feeling right now? What's that person thinking or feeling right now? Alright, so the Aries looks like they just had an ending of a situation that they really didn't want to end. They're single right now, but not wanting to be. A little more, source. A little more. Aries is stubborn. What else do we have? Okay. Eight. Okay. They're definitely not feeling like they had... They're starting to let go of a situation. Very much so. They're beginning to heal from a situation. They want a fair balance. They're not ready for anything at this time, I highly feel. Okay, I get, I'm get. i being told to put these back in the deck and shuffle from here. So two shuffles for Taurus. I usually line them up with one deck and switch at Virgo, but Scorpio, there must be something special. All right, one more shuffle for Taurus. All right, let's see what we have for Taurus, please. Source, please, guys. Taurus can be a Gemini. There's definitely something coming your direction of a person that could be an Earth sign or a Gemini. Heavy on the Gemini. You have the lovers here. This looks damn nice. Let's get a couple more before I get too carried away. But this looks like a new offer. Or you're going towards somebody that you have one hell of a connection with to give them an offer that's very stable. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so this is after a period of a loss. And it feels very mutual, especially with that lovers right in between here. Let's get one more. Mm -hmm. This is a good connection. This is after you both have to deal with uh, your own inner demons and move beyond things, inner conflict. This is winning. See the rainbow in that picture? Usually the five of swords is a little more of a conflict, etc. But in this deck, it's winning in a situation. This is beautiful for Taurus. We're going to leave it right there. Okay, moving on to Gemini. Gemini source. Let's see what we have thus far. Okay, a couple more, please. That is the page of swords. So the Gemini could be watching you right now from a distance. There's not a lot of action or movement forward. They definitely want truth in a situation. Can be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, what do we got? Eight of coins. So there's some determination and kind of looking at fine print. This person that you're interested in, that can be a Gemini, but heavy, heavy, heavy on the air. Libra especially. This person wants there to be, they're going to be slow. They, they're they going to make their own verdict. So careful how you go at that person because they want they want fairness. They've already moved out of one situation and have moved into a, a new one. I'm getting told again to move Put the cards back in. Okay. So, we'll stuff them here and there and shuffle again for cancer. All right. If you're dealing with it, well, come out already. If you're dealing with the cancer. All right. Let's see what we have for cancer. The world. Nice. Oh, the fool. Oh, oh, Scorpio, I'm feeling good energy for you. Really good energy. You got the Queen of Cups, the world. This is a fresh start. Oh, after a hurt, you get to start all over. Now, this could be, let's see, we have the world. Mm, this could be really any sign. Heavy on the Aries. 
And I like to say that even though we're going with a cancer because they have other placements as well. They had something that hurt them in the past. It doesn't feel like this necessarily was a third-party situation, although it could have been. But this is new dating. So this person wants to move forward. I'd say take a chance with the cancer. Okay. Leo. So dealing with a Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. Let's see what the Leo's doing. What you doing, Leo? What you doing? Okay, so that came up before. Now in this deck, again, it's a little bit different. This is being a little more cautious about a commitment with somebody. Ten of Pentacles is usually showing high stability. In this case, in this deck, it's being a little more cautious on what you invest in. Bottom of the deck, we have Seven of Pentacles, which I feel is appropriate for the Leo. They, they're, you know, they're making sure of details bef before they really come in. So they're coming in fast, but then they're kind of feeling things out. Take your time with the Leo. All right. Virgo. Virgo. Okay, one more source. Okay. The Virgo. Can also have a Leo placement. They feel left out in the cold. There isn't a lot of movement forward. They're holding back. They're, they're starting fresh. They're starting over. They could have ghosted you or feel ghosted or left out of a situation. Let's get one more. One more for Virgo. Yeah, there's some juggling going on here. Now, it can be just that they're working a lot, but it does feel like they're very indecisive on what direction they want to take. You have two major arcana here. I would say at this time, Virgo, maybe hold back a little bit. Okay, we are going to switch decks to have fresh energy. Oh, let's go with this one. Libra. What's the Libra thinking or feeling? What's the Libra thinking, feeling, any direction forward? Okay, so for that we have the Star, the Ace of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Two of Pentacles Reverse. It can be Aquarius, it can be a Taurus as well. This person has interest in you, but right now they're kind of holding back. It almost seems like they want you to come at them. They're a little unsure, but this person definitely would be a good connection for you, Scorpio. I mean, look at the positivity. Hopeful, new beginning, something stable. They could be spending a little bit of time learning more about you before they jump in, and that's why the indecision, but I say the Libra looks damn good. Okay, Scorpio with a Scorpio. Do you dare, Scorpio? Scorpio with a Scorpio. Ooh, Mufasa, I don't know. Okay, so... They could be, well, this can be a reunion. They do want emotions with you. They're having had taken a break. I feel like they want you to come towards them because they're kind of holding back here a little bit after they've done some healing, but they're finally ready to move into a situation. So that looks pretty damn good too, Scorpio. Nice. Okay, let's move on to Capricorn. Loud and clear. Got it. Okay, so the Capricorn has a lot of options right now going on for them. They're not sure what the hell they want. They don't want commitment. They're not ready for that, and they're damn well happy staying single. So careful with that one. If you play with that at all, I'd say they ain't going to stick around. Okay, Aquarius. Right, Aquarius. Libra. Scorpio. Sag. Now Capricorn. All right, let's see what we have. They're not letting on to nothing. They're very defensive in nature. Can be a Pisces as well. They're sticking up for themselves, and they feel that they have to. They're at the end of a cycle right now that have been painful for them, but they're letting go of it. So right now they're sit back. You got that a couple times now. Page of Swords. People are watching you. Mm. Private eyes are watching you. All right, Aquarius. I can't sing for shit, so. If I could, maybe I wouldn't be doing tarot cards. Okay, so this person 
was hurt, very much lied to in the past. They're getting beyond that. It's like they had been in a depression because of somebody that hurt them. It's like they were left, okay? So they're looking at you, and they're thinking, ooh, Mufasa, that looks good. But they're not sure about the stability, and they might be a little bit too emotional to be ready just yet. Heavy on the Aries. I believe that came up before as well with the Aries. Okay. Pisces, and then we will clean this mess up and see if we can narrow things down a little bit. Pisces. All right, you got heartache already here. A couple more source. Okay, that's a lot. We'll take the first few that flew out. Okay. So this person can be trying to make a return. They could have tried to get back together with an ex. I don't feel that this is a connection necessarily with you. Things weren't fair or even in their past, so we're leaving that right there because that does not feel connected to this at all. This person, after what they had been through, the, the Queen of Swords is very witty. She's kind of friend-zoning you a little bit. We have possible Libra here, here, a little bit of um, Earth there as well. But the Empress is all about abundance and nurturing a potential new beginning. So they want to start really slow, but it looks pretty damn nice. Okay, so we'll get this out of the way, and then we will see what energies you and your person that you have on your mind might have that's mutual, etc. Okay, please do give a thumbs up. Help circulate the videos if you don't mind. I greatly appreciate it. Apparently, that's how YouTube is spreading our videos around. Okay, source for Scorpio. What is their person specifically thinking, feeling, in any direction forward towards Scorpio? What is their person's energy? They could be relying, or I'm not relying, they could be very concentrated on their... Um, Finances right now. A couple more stars. All right. Okay. There's the Empress again. How sweet is that? So it can be a Libra. They're really taking their time. Page of Pentacles has a lot to offer, but again, it's really slow. They're trying to maintain their own damn balance. All right. This does not feel like a current connection. See what your energy towards this person is. What's your energy towards this person? I think they're open to something. Have you not stepped up to the plate yet, Scorpio? Mm -hmm. What is Scorpio's energy towards this person? Okay. Okay. Now we got some. Okay. So you feel that there's competition going on here that came up for you before as well you're wanting some action forward definitely wanting some action forward <laughs> okay so this is the person you are looking at definitely heavy on the libra heavy on the libra gemini aquarius Checking out the details. You are watching this person. It's like you're both kind of watching, but they're not paying as much attention as you are. All right. The Eight of Pentacles comes out to show us that you are determined. You want to win. You don't want to fail in a certain situation. And it probably, you know, the Five of Wands is very passionate. Two of Wands is kind of weighing the pros and cons. It's like if I take this method i think you've got your mind set on it i think it's just a matter of what method do you want to use so let's see mutual energy for scorpio and this person if any okay so you have both got a history of being hurt well that's pretty much anybody a couple more source okay now with the five of pentacles this can be that there was a blame game going on. So I'm getting that we have two separate stories here. For some of you Scorpios, this is a person that you're not in contact with that feels put out. But it's almost like blaming each other. All right. There's heartache. Yes. That's one story. You both have a history. Everybody does. Five of Pentacles. Let's clarify 
What action might Scorpio's person take? What action might your person take? And one more shuffle. Got the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. And Aries Leo Sag. What action? With the King of Wands, it's showing sexual interest, very outgoing. So it's like they, they okay. <laughs> Knight of Wands. They might come your direction, but are they going to stick around? They do, you know, have an interest in you, but it could just be for a short time, not a long time. Wheel of Fortune. They do see moving forward. Let's see what you might do. Action forward. There needs to be a change. Quit pussyfooting around and actually ask them all. Quit being in your damn head. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, Scorpio. All right. What does Scorpio need to know? They're being a wuss here. Take a chance. You need to take a chance. For sure. Stop being the god dang hermit. Get out of your head. Let loose a little bit. You have emotions for somebody. If you don't give it a shot, how are you going to know? This is use your intuition. Get out of your head. Ugh, Scorpio, didn't I tell you that last week? Ugh. Anything else? Anything else? How about advice? There's definitely somebody that's interested in you, but you have no clue because you haven't... <laughs> Can be a Pisces. You need to take a chance. The moon is mysteriousness. It's wanting to ask somebody out. It's that fear of not knowing... But you, you're done with one cycle, and if you don't move on something, use your intuition, move forward, get to know this person. Absolutely. Bottom of the deck. Look at that. And there is that King of Wands that popped up before. So there is movement here. You just need to take your time with a brand new fresh start. I mean, this looks damn nice. Yeah, patience. This person might need a little patience, but don't you as well? Definitely. With having a history lesson like this, mm -hmm, you're finally letting go of the hurt of the past, feeling better about yourself, all right? Five of Pentacles. Nobody likes that feeling of being left out, of being blamed for something, of, you know, let the past be in the past. Look forward, absolutely. Make some direction. Oh, this looks pretty damn nice. Let's, I think any sign really, Aries, really heavy on the Aries. I think that came up three or four times between the Emperor and the Fool. This also is a heavy Aries Leo Sag too. Okay, this is the current energy that I have for you at this time. Scorpio, again, if it is not your story, come back next week. Let it go. And uh, cannot resonate with everybody. Thank you for watching and many blessings.